will, we will, we will. Will of volition. God has given us the will and has made us agents of the will. There is one thing that God does not and cannot control is a will. He has given you will and you can do whatever you want with the will. He can control anything outside the will. Which means God can create you as He has created you. Then He gives you choices. Through your will, you've got the ability to choose either to follow God or not to follow God. And it does not force you. That's, so will is very good and it's very bad at the same time. It's good when you know how to direct your will to the systems of God. But when your will subjects you and directs you away from God, it becomes bad. So God gave us the will. The Bible says, I've set death and life before you and I'm going to call the heavens and the earth so that they may become witnesses today. I want you to choose life. But the Bible says all the Israelites, they chose death. They deviated from the orders and the wills of God. That the challenge of the will. Why? Because the will is found in your soul. In your soul there is your will. There is your emotions. Then there is the mind. Three aspects and components that are found in your soul. That's why it's easy for me to sin against God. Why? Because my soul is not controlled by one element. It's controlled by my emotions. Then controlled by my will. Then controlled by my mind. So God is saying now, when you pray, allow my original intent and purpose to be down in your space. Abraham was given the blueprint of God's original intent and will. Then he sold the blueprint unto the devil. And that blueprint was taken by Jesus Christ. And he gave to the disciples when he said that all authority and power in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. But he said unto the disciples and you and me, in your dispensation, your responsibility is not only to pray, but to bring the will to come into alignment through sacrifices of my original intent. So, whenever you pray, pray that the will of God may be done in your life. Then number seven, he says, when you pray, say, on earth. So the will must be done when? On earth. Why on earth? Earth, it means tierra in Hebrew. So he's saying, let God's will be done where? Come on, somebody shout with me. On earth. Why earth? Because that's the physical planet, the natural creation of God. So he's saying, my will is the one that is supposed to be done on your physical planet or your natural creation. And I want to bring a distinctive and a distinction between the earth and the world. I think we've been using these words interchangeably. When I say the world, I mean the earth. So the earth is the physical planet or the natural creation of God. The world is what we call the cosmos. When we say cosmos in the world, the earth is the earth. Then the world is cosmos. What is this world? The world is any governing power, a authority that is responsible on the earth. That's the world. These are the systems controlling authorities, systems of influence. The, these are the worlds that we are talking about. So when God is saying, pray for my will to come to your earth, he's saying that let my glory become your culture. Come on, so short culture. Then he's saying that when your, my culture becomes your culture, it means now that demons will not take power over your life. The Bible says when a demon is chased out of a person's life, it goes to a dry land, come back looking. If the blessing is not garnished on the body, it goes back to that arid land, invite more demons. Your situation is worsened, which means if you were broke, you are going to be more broken. If you were defeated, you will be killed. Why? Because the situation is worsened. But God is saying that if my world, my will, is subjected under the earth, which is your body, you will find out that demons are not going to control your life. Then, number eight, he's saying that why is this will should be done? It should be done as it is in heaven. Like it is in heaven. Come on, somebody shout, as it is in heaven. What is this heaven? Heaven is the government. Heaven is the glory. Heaven is the authority, the system of God.
God, everywhere we are, will be filled with the government of God. When you pray for God's will to come, the earth 